In the past, Canberra has been courted and then ignored by the AFL. Now we're being teased again by the charm offensive that is Kevin Sheedy. The former Essendon mentor is now coach of Greater Western Sydney. That team will join the competition in 2012. Sheedy's been in town discussing a deal whereby GWS would play four games in Canberra each year and establish ties with local footy. But it's dependent on wooing significant community and corporate support and an upgrade to Monica Oval. I've done a lot of travel over the years, had a look at a lot of games. I don't think we showcase Canberra enough. I really mean that. And this game here and this club can help you achieve that in many, many ways. There's so many opportunities in our game that we haven't really progressed with yet. And I think that um, coming into Greater Western Sydney and then coming down the highway and getting Canberra on board, to me, is just a, a common sense sort of thing to do. I mean, there's so many good players that come out of Canberra. Don't know whether Canberra's always really been correctly developed yet by the AFL. Has Canberra been neglected by the AFL? Look, I think probably from a point of view, not having a, a full-time professional team here, they could say they could be because other codes are here. The AFL is going to pour over $200 million into this team. So that money is coming from all over Australia to help develop this club for Canberra and for the people of the greater west of Sydney. So that's a huge investment. There is a sense that Canberra has been burnt by AFL clubs in recent years, used as a bit of a cash cow, teams flying in, flying out, taking money from the government to have matches here. Is the same thing going to happen with GWS? I can understand that. Um, but here's a, a, a totally different opportunity. Here's the club that's saying we're going to come forever, we're going to be here, we're going to develop the kids and we're going to try and retain them to play in Canberra and in Greater Western oh. Sydney. You won't be seeing Jezelenko moving to Carlton. You won't be seeing, you know, James Hurd at Essendon. You'll be seeing those kids playing here in your town. So what money we would take out of Canberra? We'd only probably go back into Canberra to develop a better structure to make better opportunities uh, for more kids to be available to play AFL. Can you see a time when Canberra embraces GWS as its team? Oh, no doubt about it. I have no doubt about that. I mean, this area in Canberra has been given to Greater Western Sydney as a zone. So this is our lifeline. This is where we're going to actually pour a lot of energy and a lot of time to develop coaches and, and recruiting and, uh, you know, academies. So we've got to get this right. Will there be some consideration to maybe be playing in a Canberra Strip in Canberra Colours for games down here to actually represent this community? We haven't even named our club Colours yet. We don't even know our name yet. That has not been announced and probably won't be until late August. But anything is viable. Throwing Canberra into the name? GWS slash Canberra? I have no idea. I mean, there are areas that the coach won't have any input into. We're sitting here at Marnica Oval. Is this place up to scratch as a first-class venue for AFL matches? Oh, look, I think the Oval's fantastic. I'd love to, you know, obviously see uh, 25,000, 20,000 people here. Um, and we can actually get that. We've got some iconic matches that we could bring to the table. So you would be wanting to build a stadium up to be a better stadium, and I think they've got plans to talk to the government about that. So a deal for GWS to come here is contingent on a stadium upgrade? Oh, well, financially it would be, because you've got to try and get the best crowd in. You want to make this an elite stadium for the capital city of this nation? Well, well it should be. So what happens if there isn't a suitable response to the community membership call and the corporate support call? You can't say it's their last chance, but why not take the best chance they've ever been given? It's a, it's a club that is uh, two and a half to three hours just up the road here. It's not North Melbourne, it's not the Western Bulldogs, right? It is a club that technically you can drive and watch a match. Building that passion is so important. Is this a test case for AFL in Canberra? Of course it is, but... You know, there are a lot of intelligent people in Canberra. They know when they can see a great opportunity looking at them face on, uh, they'll, grab, they'll grab this opportunity. I, I could not see all the people that have been involved in AFL and all the people will be wondering whether we should or not. If you want a team to support in the AFL, they should really support this team. Look, I've been involved with Richmond. I've been involved with Essendon over 40 years. I'm really happy to be involved in this.